You're looking at the aftermath of a house fire allegedly set on purpose around 1 a.m. early Thursday morning here at 99 Oxford Street in Kensington Market. Now the blaze appears to have began in the back while multiple children were sleeping in the homes right next door. Now thankfully no one was seriously injured though if it wasn't for the fortunate timing and actions of one father things might have ended up much worse. Yeah we could have all died. We could have all died and uh, this person is potentially still at large. Nate Christworth was working in the basement of his home into the wee hours of the morning Thursday when he decided to call it a night and check in on his young daughter before hitting the hay. Opened up the door immediately, I saw a glow out this window just from the corner. And I opened up the uh, curtain and immediately I could see a blaze, probably five, maybe ten feet high uh, at that point. Your three year old sleeping in the crib right behind you. Here. I just got my daughter, got my wife, called the uh, fire department and ran outside, got them outside. He's like, fire, and I, I could have barely comprehend what that meant, so I got up, and I wasn't sure if he had called 911 yet, so I stood out here, and I called 911 and screamed fire into the street. Her daughter was shaking, and I remember um, calling 911 and screaming into the phone. Nate's wife, Christine's screams of fire into the night likely alerted neighbors to the emergency. With families pouring into the streets, Nate decided he had to do something. Got up on here and I was just standing up on here, spraying across the roof. Uh, when I first came out here, there was like smoke coming out the gutter. I just kept spraying it, sprayed our roofs a bit just to try and make sure it didn't come across. And then uh, firefighters maybe five minutes later got there and they said just keep spraying it. The fire was two doors down and spreading quickly because these homes were built so long ago, they don't have firewalls. Time is of the essence, and the very fact that uh, he was able to get out, get his family out, and alert other neighbors, and make you know uh, the fire department was notified within that time frame, absolutely stopped that fire from spreading. Potentially save lives? Without question. A big question remains, how did the fire start? Toronto police are now investigating. Two men were seen in the area, and one allegedly went into the home. A short time later, the fire began. Nate and Christine say the home has operated as a rooming house for years with a revolving door of tenants. We've already had one person taken out of here in the past um, for, pulling for pulling a machete on our neighbor's wife. If somebody did this on purpose and they lived in that house, I would have walked by them with my daughter. Like, I can't even... And they would have known there's a family next door as well. Yeah. Family next door to that. Family over here. Their concern has also shifted to the shoddy manner in which the home has now been boarded up by the alleged landlord. There's no fence protecting this. There's nothing stopping from this guy from coming back or anybody else coming and squatting in this house. What are they going to do with this place to make sure that we don't have squatters here, we don't have another arsonist come by, and um, we have no answers on that. City News has, co has contacted Councillor Michael Layton. He tells me that he's notified MLS and a bylaw officer will be coming by to inspect the property to see if it is boarded up appropriately, what other actions can be taken to ensure the safety of this neighbourhood. Now, as for the suspects, police are looking for two persons of interest. One is described as tall with a thin build. He has wavy brown hair. He was wearing shorts that were cream or off-white. And he also had a shirt with a pattern on it. Now, the second suspect is only listed as shorter than the first suspect with a stocky built. Anyone with information is being asked to call Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers.